Okay, hello and welcome to Sims Career. Today we're going to have a look at the cooking career. I have my Sim as a foodie. Um, right now I'm just getting her to get a job in the uh, culinary career. So there we go. Career for Gloria the Gherkin. I've created this house. It is a cheat house again. I've got a good kitchen. Mixology bar because you're going to definitely need a decent cooker. I tend to really do with a nice um, refrigerator and a bar as well so just uh, get her sleeping, she's not in work for two days luckily so it gives us some time just to uh, up her skills I can see some of her aspirations um, she wants to cook an excellent meal and she wants to make a group meal so what I'm going to do is get her to cook a group meal and hope that it comes out excellent There we go, so we get Gloria to go and cook that meal, so uh, grilled cheese. So you can see both of those aspirations have gone because it, it was a group meal and it was an excellent meal. So now to go and get her to make some drinks because she will need the mixology skills, so we may as well get as many culinary skills, skill levels up and as many mixology skill levels up as we possibly can. Being a cheat as well, I have just ordered a maid so I don't have to constantly clean up after myself, even though I tend to do that anyway. Just try and get your sim to cook as much as possible whilst, you know, the. I can't even think what it's called. How else their feelings are alright, whilst they're not needing a toilet and everything. Once they're quite content, get cooking. As you can see, she now has an, a um, mixology level. I made her a self assured sim, which means that she's uh, quite confident too. She's confident in her cooking. Okay, so uh, straight away, get her to wake up and cook. What should we have for breakfast today? Mm, egg and toast. Family size for one. There we go. <laughs> the next thing I'm going to do is go to Lou. And then also going to give her a thoughtful shower. This makes her seem inspired. So they tend to do levelling up a little bit better. So she's, uh, she's had a thoughtful shower. She's going to make a drink after a thoughtful shower. I thought a good idea is to take her to the park. Now the reason for this is that she can meet someone to talk over the aspirations she has because she wants to talk about fine food and stuff. But my idea is to get them friendly enough that they'll stay in the house quite comfortably and chat with her while she's cooking food. So she can do two things at once, killing two birds with one stone. So as you can see she's talking about fine cuisine. You see, it's the little blue options, that's when they're feeling inspired, so you can do different things you wouldn't usually be able to do. So, I brought him back home. And we're going to cook some food. So, just check she's all alright, just let her go to Lou, and then we'll get some food on the go. So, she's going to serve some mac and cheese tonight. Classy bed. <laughs> He's already helping himself to the food in my fridge. Tut 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 tut. So as you can see, we're having a conversation while she's cooking, so it just makes everything a lot easier. Because you do need to be quite social when you're a foodie. Because I know a few levels in obviously my other sim, um, there's one where they have to have five friends. And like, it's 
five good friends. You can't just have like five acquaintances. They need to be friends. Okay, so as you can see, I need to clean dishes three times to level to get promoted. Simples because it's already done. So uh, it's the next morning now. It's the day I'm going to work. So uh, just to spruce myself up. I'm a thoughtful showering again, so I'm inspired. I'm just doing. Bit of cooking whilst inspired before I work. Okay, so I've just done a few more aspirations there. And to still keep doing things whilst I'm inspired just before work, every little helps. She may not have liked the drink she just made. So I'll just make her again another one. She can't do it bad twice, right? And she's levelled up. And I'm going to serve brunch rather than make brunch so I don't make myself poorly. Just so I can cook even though there's nobody to serve too. Okay, so she just needs to finish that, but she didn't decide to walk off mid cook. So we go. So, what we need to do just before she goes to work is the few last essentials. Let her have a little bit of fun before work, I guess. As you can see, her levels are pretty good, and then she's off to work. Now, if you see there, press work hard. I don't need to do this when they've got good levels, don't, otherwise they tend to moan a bit. So, uh, look at that. She's been promoted to head dishwasher. She'll now make an additional dollar per hour, a grand total of 16 per hour. Yeah. But each time you do get promoted, you'll get little things in your inventory, things like counters. Uh, what else have I had? I've had coffee machines. All sorts, really. So I get a cooking again. Now I aim in three days of work to get two promotions. So again, cooking up to level four. As you can see, I need to reach level 2 mixology. Easy peasy. Because it's already been done. And that's why you're just constantly, all the time, just grafting. Grafting, grafting, grafting. Grinding it until you just get your skill levels up. So you're always one step ahead. What I'm also going to do is a good idea is to order books. What you need to do. If you've got your list of books here, but what you want to do is go along the top where all the different icons are here and click on the one that looks like a bit like a hammer. But it's a hammer. And buy all the food books you possibly can. Now the particular ones that I would suggest, if you just want to get certain ones, is the gourmet food ones. Gourmet cooking all you want to free. You can get to read one of those so she'll get some gourmet cooking skills. So now she's acquired the gourmet cooking skill level, which is useful. And you can cook all sorts of different food now. So she's got work in an hour. She won't get promoted today. Be tomorrow, but see, she's leveled up again. You get these often. Doesn't matter what you put, like here I've got a performance loss because it overloaded. 
Whereas, as you'll see in a bit, I get the same one again, and uh, I press the same button, and I actually got a performance gain. So it is completely at random, so yeah. Just be aware of those, you, you can't really change the outcome too much, unless it's a very obvious thing. So our friends come over, so hopefully we'll talk a little bit more about food. There we go, fine cuisine again. Make her happy. So end of restoration complete. So let's level up on our cooking skills, so let's throw her back into the deep end. And this time we're going to cook uh, some French toast. It sounds good. Let's get a cookie. Family size always. Beautiful. Let's all get some fringe toast. Let's put it away actually. She doesn't need to eat yet. So again, take a thoughtful shower. Get that inspiration up. And let's get cooking. So, uh... Get some... Gourmet noodles, mmm, garlic noodles for breakfast. Can't believe I made them for breakfast. I must be mad. She's off to work again. Again, too many dishes. Overload, and it was fine. A performance gain medium rather than a performance gain loss. So, swings and roundabouts. And she's got a promotion! To head caterer. I guess I'm going to leave it there, make sure you like if you enjoyed this video and there'll be more Sims careers coming up shortly. Goodbye. Oh yeah, whilst you're here you may as well click that subscribe button and watch that video down there, that's my last one.